Hey, it's Regina here with PrayerCommunicationWithGod.com, and I haven't brought you a video in a while, so I thought I would bring one to you. You know, this weekend I celebrated my birthday, and I thank God for another year. I thank Him for my family, and I thank Him for the movie War Room. I didn't get to be one of the ones that went and saw it in the theater, but God's timing is perfect. It is just perfect in every way. I was blessed to watch that movie this weekend for 48 hours. Um, and the first round of it, I watched with my husband. And I was able to say to him, this is why our marriage is what it is today. You see, we've been married 24 years now. And the first few years, it was a real battle. The enemy did everything he could to tear our family apart. But God, but God had other plans for us. Now we could have chosen our own ways and walked that out. But you see, I was blessed with a mother who taught me the importance of praying for my husband. And as I look around in our churches today, we don't have those mentors now that were there when I was coming up. They're missing. What's happened to our mentors? When did we get so comfortable and so complacent? So ladies, let me tell you something. Young ladies especially, whether you're married, you're getting married, or you plan to be married one day in the future, let me tell you, you pray for that man. He's not your enemy. Your husband is not your enemy, but you have an enemy. And Jesus tells us about this enemy in John 10, 10. He tells us the enemy comes only to steal and kill and destroy. He comes to steal your joy, to steal your peace, to destroy you and to tear your family apart. Because he knows that God ordained the family, that God put them together, and that what God's put together, no one should be able to tear apart. So don't waste your time battling your husband, fighting your husband. Cover him in prayer. Cover him in prayer. If you don't have a prayer room, if you don't have a secret place that that you go before God, then I encourage you to set one up. It doesn't necessarily mean clean out your closet like the lady in the movie War Room did. It doesn't even have to be a room that's wholly separated for that. See, in, in my home, I don't have an extra room. We almost don't have enough room for for all of our family that's here. So I bring this video to you out of my secret place, out of my war room. Um, I, I have, I'm blessed with a rather large bathroom and I, it has a vanity that I don't use. And so I've kind of set up my office there, which sounds strange, but my big comfy tub sits behind me. Um, and that is one of the things that bring me pleasure and so I do, I encourage you to fill that space with things that comfort you, that bring you pleasure. But make sure that you do have some wall space, that you can hang things that inspire you, um, things that you're praying over. Here in my comfy space, um, you can see a little bit of it. I have this picture hanging here because it's a place that I find tranquil. But I also have prayers. Prayers for my husband. Prayers for my children. Prayers for their boyfriends. Prayers for my friends. Prayers for those that I know only through social media. I also have a dry erase board where I have prayer requests written as well. And I have scripture reminders and things that I need to hang on to. Um, I keep my computer in 
my prayer space. And I do this because, one, either when I'm praying, I either record my voice with the voice recorder, or I have my um, one note pulled up and I'm jotting down things in there. I keep a journal. Sometimes it's on paper, sometimes it's on the computer, sometimes it's through audio, occasionally through video. But I keep that record. So, and then I can look back and I can say, thank you, Jesus, I see where you answered this prayer. I see where you answered it. Now, I want to encourage you in another way. When you're praying for your husband, for your friend, for your family, for your congregation, visualize in your imagination that answered prayer. Experience it through your imagination because that's how things are created. Think about the Tower of Babel. We always, when we look at it, we discuss the sin. Their sin, they were disobedient. They weren't scattered abroad, being fruitful and multiplying like God told them to do. Instead, they come together in agreement with a vision that they were gonna build this tower that reached up to heaven so they wasn't ever killed by a flood again. That wasn't what God told them to do. No, he told them to be scattered and multiply. But you see, they had three things going for them. They, had, they all had a vision. They knew what it looked like. They could see it in their mind. Then they could communicate with one another, so they were in agreement. And that communication allowed them to share their ideas and agree even stronger and come together in such a way that God himself said, nothing can stop them now. They've got the vision, they've got the agreement, and they've got the communication. Nothing can stop them. So what did he do to bring them into obe obedience? He changed the way they communicate. He confused their languages so they couldn't communicate with one another. They couldn't agree. And that was a result of their sin. But I want us to look at the three things that they had. Because it's like a threefold cord. Strong when you have the vision, when you have the agreement, and you have the capability to communicate. So as you pray for others, imagine it. Experience it with all of your senses in your imagination. If you're praying for someone's healing, See them healed. It adds integrity when you see it in your mind. It adds integrity to it. It's important. So I encourage you to catch that vision, to experience it in that way. This has just been a short video, but I pray that it's spoken life into you. This is just a few of the things that I do but I felt like it was necessary to share with you what I do. It's not for me to just keep secret because then you're not learning things that have worked for me. When I bring something to you, it's because I've tried it, I've experienced it, and it's worked. And I want you to have that same experience, that same work. So let's pray. Father, I just thank you for each one that's watched this video today. I pray that it speaks life into them, that it brings them tools that they can apply to their lives and that they can receive the blessing from. I just thank you for them. This is a divine appointment that's set in place, set in motion by you. Father, I just ask you to let your favor rest upon each one and to allow them to see supernatural things that you do for us I just I just can't thank you enough for the love that you have for us that you allow us to share and as I've shared the things that I do I'm reminded of Revelation 12 11, which says they overcame the adversary that enemy that comes to steal kill and destroy because of the word of their testimony and because of the blood of the Lamb and I thank you that we have both of these. We have the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I just thank you, Lord. I just love you and I just praise you for you are worthy to be praised. I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.
Hey, men friends, thank you for being with me, and I will see you again. God bless you.